Hey everyone, welcome to the third episode of Word Swag for the Marketing Elements Small Business Social Series. Um, so today I'm going to teach you something that's really cool with this, this app. Um, in the world of images on social media, you really need to watermark your images because if they really take off viral, you want people to come back to you. But you also want a, a watermark that's not going to make the image so crazy people don't want to share it. Because we've all seen those watermarks that are like blatant right over the center of the image and it's crazy and you're just like, it would be a good picture if that wasn't there. So, in the last iteration that they did of Word Swag when they updated, they introduced the watermark image, which is amazing. So, I'm going to show you how I'm going to go... I'm going to show you how you can do it two different ways. You can either do it from the main window or you can go do, I'm going to show you once you get done with an image. So, go to favorites. We're going to go to our image. We'll go back to the image we used before. The uh, sandwich. We're going to crop it. So, here's our image. We, we're just going to leave that on there. I'm not going to change it. We're going to click done. Um, this is just to show you how to do it. We'll take it a minute to save. Um, once it saves, we'll go back in under the, you can do two different watermarks. So save your camera, add logo or, or watermark. So if you have a logo, that's a picture, you can put it on your iPad or your photos or your Android, well, it's not Android, but on your device. And you can use that to watermark your images. Really cool. Super simple, and you don't have to pay ten dollars a month for Photoshop. So if you click watermark, click text, I'm gonna show you text, and then it'll duplicate whatever you have in there. So I'm just gonna put marketing blog.com. Done. Save and close is right there. It'll give you this when you do a watermark that it's too short, but don't worry about that. Just click continue or don't remind you again. Um, so here's your watermark. I generally like Fatty Nose Best because it's really uh, an easy to read font. So color, we're going to make it white. You can make it any color you want. And then I'm going to pinch it and resize it. You can turn it any way you want to. So if you want to turn, you can go just drag your fingers wherever you want it. So do you want to put that in the corner or wherever you want it? It can be at the top, the side. And then what I do is grab the transparency and sort of just go at least 50%. So you know it's visible but not really visible. And then you can just move it where you want it. And then that's your watermark. So if people see your image, they'll know where it came from and they can go visit you. Um, you like I said, you can put your image. Once you're done, it'll save it. The only thing I don't like is if you're going to watermark it, it already saves it. So you're going to have two different versions of the same image. So I suggest the first one you just go and delete and then keep the second one. But once you're done, saves it. Bam, you're done. There's a lot you can do with this app. I suggest you get in and play with it. Um, you can share quotes. You can share a ton of different things with this. Create amazing stuff. And people think you did. Spent hundreds of dollars on your uh, images. So, so yeah. Go try it out. It's in the App Store for $3.99. It's a little pricey for most people. But once you get it and play with it, I think it'll pay for itself in no time. Probably the first time you use it. Um, find me at marketingelementsblog.com. Also on Twitter at timgoldman.com. Uh, I look forward to doing another one. The next one up is going to be uh, Google Snapseed. So it's a very simple, fun photo app that's on both iOS and Android. So have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.